May 23, 2014, as you can see, the boxes, the head bandage drops off again after rebandaging. Yesterday, we bandaged, and then today, I bandage again, but uh, it seems that uh, it's not possible to bandage him, bandage her. And uh, this head bandage, it's a sort of roll off. Uh, fortunately, this hematoma is not so uh, so much as early on but then I, I, I don't know whether it will continue to swell again uh, as in the previous uh, surgery you have to wait and see in the meantime just keep the dog quiet and uh, I guess there's no way to, to bandage to put a pressure bandage on this uh, area. I think in, in conclusion, I had, uh, I had to stitch up the incised muscle and uh, let's hope that uh, there is no more bleeding. Uh, you can see that today there is not so much bleeding but you have to wait till the next two days. This uh, head bandaging does not is not very suitable for this dog because of the rounded head. There's no way of doing the the figure of it. No matter how you do it. So uh, we have to wait and see. May twenty three two zero one four, around sixteen hours after drainage of hematoma, stitching up of the incised muscle as early on done by Dr. Daniel and the uh, horizontal mattress suture on the skin to close it up more. And then let's wait and see whether there's any more swelling. The owner had phoned up twice actually. And, uh, and see that it's not possible to bandage him, bandage her. May 23, 2014, for your vets. Also, a female, five months old. Uh, probably she had a head. Early on, or an abscess in between the muscles of the forehead. I was not present, so I wouldn't be able to comment on what was the original original swelling. But it appeared to be fluid, as uh, I was told by Doctor Daniel.